Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, everyone, let's get it. It's Ian K back again with another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, celebrating 30,000 plus subscribers here on the channel by heading on over to Fat Burger because at the suggestion of Paul from Critical East Japan, as well as many of you on live stream, you guys were all pretty unanimous in me heading on over here to give their Triple King Burger a shot. And I have a feeling I'm really in for it with this one. Feast your eyes on a true beast of a burger. This is looking pretty awesome. Starting off with that toasted sponge dough bun on top here. Let's take a look underneath. Plenty of lettuce, we've got onions, pickles, and mustard in there. And that's all on top of three 100% pure lean beef patties, guys. One and a half pounds of pure beef. And this is looking pretty insane. Of course, we've got cheese separating each of the layers. And on the very bottom, because why not, we've got a fried egg in there as well. This is looking absolutely insane. So without further ado, let's get into this one and see if the flavor is gonna deliver. How could it not, right? It's the Fat Burger Triple King Burger. Let's peep out this flavor. You know, I gotta say, as glorious as this looks and as amazing as this feels in my hands right now, it's almost a little embarrassing at the same time. Guys, this is absolutely insane. Very, very heavy. One and a half pounds of beef and everything else on it, but it has got some denseness. I mean, look at that. Absolutely insane with that egg on the very bottom. So much beef, so much seasoned goodness right there. Pickles peeking out the top. This is just looking absolutely incredible. And believe me when I tell you, I am having a lot of trouble holding this with one hand right now. This is seriously a beefy burger. So guys, real quick before I get into this one, or attempt to anyway, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, this is absolutely for you. I couldn't be where I'm at right now on my channel without you. I'm so glad to finally give this a go to scratch this one off the bucket list. It's looking really, really amazing. It's the Fat Burger, Triple King Burger. Let's do this. Man, I don't know if I can get my mouth around this whole thing here, but I'm gonna try. Here we go. Mm. Oh, mm. so much beef. <laughs> I think I did as good as I possibly could on that first bite, but all I got was a block of meat, guys. Not too much else, as you can see there. A little bit of the egg on the bottom, but there is so much seasoned beef that's overpowering everything, and it's absolutely delicious. Let me go in again. I'm gonna keep going in as much as I can to get all those toppings. But this is insane, in freaking insane. Let's keep going. Mmm, mom. <laughs> this is straight out one of the best burgers I have ever had, guys. I'm getting everything in there with this one now. Finally, some of the egg on the bottom, plenty of that cheese, a little bit of the pickles, the onions, the lettuce, the mustard, but just a wall of beef. This is really a showcase for the lean beef over here at Fat Burger, and I can easily see why this one is the gargantuan on the menu. It is insane across the board. So insane, in fact, that if you want to take this challenge on to complete this burger in one sitting there at Fat Burger, you can actually have your picture taken and put up on their wall of fame that they have there, as well as receiving a certificate of completion. And guys, believe me, there's been a lot of people who have done it. This is insane in general. You're going to hear insane all throughout this review because it is absolutely in freak insane. I've never had a burger like this. Literally one and a half pounds of beef. Guys, look at the size of this thing. It is absolutely crazy. You're gonna get close-ups galore all throughout this review because I can't contain my excitement. And truth be told, I was a little careful on the amount of toppings I wanted to put on this because I wanted to try and have a nice balance, obviously, of all the meat and cheese, but with everything else that this has got, with the onions, the lettuce, the pickles, the mustard, a little bit more basic, but then at the very end, having that fried egg in there as well, how could you not do that, guys? But the prep on this one, I gotta tell you, is absolutely glorious. Naturally, there's plenty of seasoning put on the beef patties themselves, and with the fried egg on top of it added to the mix, it's a beautiful situation. And then naturally, with all the condiments on top of that even, you already know this thing is gonna be a gargantuan. I was blown away when I saw this being constructed. I knew this was gonna be a little bit of a problem to try and finish in one sitting, and I can already tell if you can do this in one sitting, God bless you, because I'm telling you, it is very, very dense. Enough talking, more eating. Let's do it. Oh, my oh God. Oh my God. This burger is not playing around, and I gotta say, I'm so glad they put the egg in the very bottom because it's actually keeping everything together on this. I mean, the placeholders are working pretty nicely. The cheese is holding the meat together in the middle and the top, there's three slices. And then you have the egg in the very bottom to kind of stabilize it all, but guys, with no matter what toppings you get on the very top of this, it's gonna be a little messy in general, but everything that you're seeing here is so worth the time to give a try at least once because it is absolutely glorious. Glorious, insane, what else could I possibly say about this? All right, how about nothing else for a quick moment because I'm going in for another bite. I really have to, this thing is insane. Take a look, one more time, we're gonna go in for that block right over there. Craziness, guys, craziness. Mm. Mm. 
Paula, thank you so much for the push to get this one done, as well as to all of you guys in unison with Paul on live stream recently to really have me do this. I was looking forward to it, and honestly, like I said, this has been a bucket list item to give a go. I just couldn't get around to do it, and I figured, you know what, 30,000 plus subscribers that I couldn't do on my channel without you, obviously. How could I not jump on over and satisfy the expectation of doing this, as well as giving this present to you guys right now as well? Yeah, boy! And as much as this is a love letter to make right now currently, this is an absolute love letter to my stomach to give a try because honestly guys, I'm a few bites in and I'm already feeling very, very full with this. So let's go for one more bite. We'll close this one out after the rating, some more close-ups. But guys, insane. If you've got a fat burger in the area, you need to be doing the do and jumping on over to giving this one a shot and hopefully getting your name up on that wall of fame. Get your picture taken, get the certificate. It's so worth your time. And guys, again, just insanity, pure insanity. Pure lean beef insanity. One more bite. All right, guys, I'm gonna try and do this as careful as I can. A 360 shot of this one for you. The Fat Burger XXL Triple King Burger is no joke. It is absolutely insane. Three half pound patties with this one, guys. And I gotta say, it is glorious as we're losing part of the bun. Super fresh on that one there too, by the way. A lovely situation, plenty of meat. Be very careful with the amount of toppings you add to this. But honestly, nothing is gonna overtake the flavor that you're gonna get from these beef patties. Absolutely insane, but I think you know that by now, right? And hey, real quick, a huge shout out and thank you to Victor and the amazing team at my local Fat Burger here in Pasadena, California. Guys, thank you for the amazing customer service and just the overall experience in general. It was a lot of fun being able to get the footage for this one, and I do greatly appreciate the help with it. And let me just also say, guys, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for 30,000 plus subscribers. And like I always say, the best is always yet to come. I couldn't do what I do without you, as I always say. And I love and appreciate every one of you guys for taking the time to take a look at my content, to share the content, to comment on the content. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, it all counts the same, and I greatly appreciate that. So with this burger in mind, the Fat Burger XXL Triple King Burger, I almost don't wanna give it a rating because once you give it a rating, that means it's like the top that's as high as you can go. And truth be told, this burger breaks a lot of levels because it's so much above that. So honestly, if I'm gonna give it a rating, obviously you know it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. I don't think I can because there's really nothing I've ever had that can go against that, honestly. So let's just say, like I said earlier in the review, this is easily one of the best, if not the best burgers I've had like ever. It is insane because of the amount of beef and it really comes down to your choice of toppings. Being that I constructed this version for me, of course it's gonna be amazing. Of course it's gonna be 10 out of 10. But guys, like I said, if you've got a fat burger in the area, you need to be jumping on over to give this one a shot. At the very least, to attempt the challenge that they have there in store, get your name up on the wall, get that certificate, get the bragging rights, you know? Okay, now the obvious question, do you have a fat burger in the area? And if you do, have you personally given the fat burger triple king burger challenge a shot? Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you're on the wall of fame. And if you actually are, do me a favor and tag me on social media. You can find all those links at the end of this review. Very curious to see what you guys have to say about this one in general. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Oh, and hey, real quick, did I tell you this burger was pretty insane? I just want to make sure I get that in there. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.